Hello friends, welcome back. So, what should I say uh, for the gap uh, between my videos? It's because uh, I was not good and uh, physically not good. I was suffering from fever, but now I'm absolutely fine. So we can continue our work. So we have finished uh, uh, eighty percent of our work, I think. So so and, and uh, you may notice. Uh, whatever the problem if you're facing you can come in there. I'm here to help you if you have any problem you can uh, Ask me Right, so we are done with categories brand products and new orders form is ready You can see a make order list You can create orders and might be you notice one thing Okay, let me show you what and let's choose a product and give it a quantity choose another product give it a quantity choose another product and give a quantity okay, give it give it one that's fine right and uh, according to our algorithm of code the co price is calculated multiplied uh, and here you can see the amount applying tax net total and even give a discount but the problem is here once you remove this uh, items for you you can remove it no change here even you can remove completely and you be like what's this so you you can change it and uh, where you can change it just uh, in our order.js file and uh, do you remember we have created a function that is calculate and i think you also remember about the remove button where is okay you can see here it's here so when someone press remove i can call my function calculate but this time uh, both the both of the parameter will be zero amount and paid amount discount and paid amount too, right save it and uh, okay I just want to check my JS is working or not. Save this file and refresh. And you can see my JS is not working. It's because uh, my cache memory loaded the previous code. So I have to reset it or my clear my cache memory. reset it okay fine it's done but i have to log in again so log in and that's done new orders you're still no alert so that's the thing we have done okay what's wrong Oh, sorry uh, we have to press this button uh, it's fine it's working remove this save it and uh, refresh refresh put a name choose a product add another product let's add it to here and uh, what's this the tax is weird or oh, you can change it like that okay it's weird but this is the calculated amount i can't do anything uh, you can round up this so search for it you have lots of javascript function and uh, fine so this is the amount and once we remove so it should uh, be clear right now it's the prices decreases now it is 1251 once you add these two items now it's just 1200 but it's finally in place so this is working well and now i have to uh before uh once the uh what okay once you make a order okay you have a customer and you are 
uh, giving him a, a, a list of items a products so once you will press this order button the record first will be stored in our database unlike my previous project you can see here my pro uh, here you can see i have a table called invoice where i'm storing a record of individual customers and it has an invoice number and this number can be uh, anything so but i have given a number that's easy for us and this number will be also give us the uh, result uh, how many uh, item the customer has been about here you can see the customer 26 invoice number and we have a list of four items one two three four he has bought and individual price we have and individual quantity we have for all the customers right so now what i need to do when someone pays this order first i will get the data of this entire form right and this is our order order.js file and okay where is the new order here it is and let's look at the button there is button and it has auto form and in print invoice first i will do uh, target this button order to form copy this because this is the button now visible in order.chase order processing okay order accepting what you can write better you can write what I'm writing here or a form dot click it will use the function anonymous function because it don't have name what's this and that's fine dollar dot is x and right here use your or well, where you want to go i want to go storming and include slash or uh, you have an option like uh, you can further do all the process in this page or you can create a new page if you're feeling like it has lots of codes but i think it's very less code it's just 286 lines so you can create or you can separate it but i'm going to keep in so let's write the page process dot php and method obviously it's post method uh, we always use post method to get the data form data and uh, okay data i can say what's the form name or i mean id and you can see here where it is and there it is so let's specify the id equals to order let's go form can be same okay order form oh it's like get underscore form data get order data right that's one so it's perfect get order data save and uh, copy this and in your order or chase you can grab it at once dot serialize will serialize everything serialize then success function data and you can see here alert data right now our next move will be on this page process.php and here if we set dollar underscore post so what unique things you can notice in the form which makes this block of code enable or active okay let's see what we have 
we have uh, value for date and mm, I can write here ID this is the most important uh, field which we are not filling it's automatically by PHP order date this can be unique and you can make more unique fields customer name uh, give it an ID or and you can this is also a input where you can do like ID customer underscore name and it has name field customer name okay we have to write name also copy and give it a name order date get it from here and order date it's fine you just click or double click it over this name customer name and uh, I think for rest of the thing we have everything name as well as ID yeah we have so in your order.js file okay sorry in your process.php file you can write here order date and it's set tolerance scope post or you can write your customer underscore name validation part is already done by your required HTML required attribute so it's fine we can go with this order date and customer name and get get all the data right and what's the data Order date. Order date. Then we have customer name. Then we have a list of items. and uh, you can see in our process page as well okay it's fine it's uh, cqty it's qty it's price it's pro name and that so it's easy to write here that's an array so always keep in mind those are array i'm also giving here a comment now it's uh now getting array from order form the taller underscore post and uh, first one is t to t y taller post and then we have a uh, quantity price quantity Price and pro underscore name uh, for mark. I will give it here as an array P Q T Y Now we have all the error fields, right? 
t quantity quantity price product name and uh, we don't need anything else so rest of the thing will be in just normal items now uh, we can see our form and the first one is subtotal subtotal gst discount first three it's right here dollar post and you can write your uh, sub total gst Discount. Next, what? Discount then net total paid and due. Discount net total paid and due. Then we have uh, uh, discount net total paid due, and then payment type. It is the last one payment type. Controller. For discount paid dollar two. So subtotal GST discount net net total paid due payment type. So now we have all the fields as well as arrays, and uh, we are ready to create a function in our uh, manage uh, class. To get the to store the records to, and uh, we will do this in the next video till then take care and uh, hope you like this video and uh, as usual I what I you know what what should I say